Okay, we're on. Are you going to training tomorrow? Are you going to the training tomorrow? Is that tomorrow? Mm hmm If not, it's fine. I'm going. I can go on behalf of council. Just right. remind me to put legislation in there for this show. Oh, because I, I think I've got a doctor's appointment with the brother-in-law in the morning. Okay. I think I got to be up there at eight, which is not going to be fun, eight or not. But he's giving me a shortcut. I'm going to take it. You always, you always take six hours. You only Something, not a big deal. We'll go to this work session tonight. I'll go home, get some hours sleep, you're good to go. Oh, you're coming at 71. Well, I will be tomorrow. I'll oh. be coming from my house. So when you go up 71, I think you should be able to stay on 71. No, no, no. Google Maps still has me going 675 to 70. But that I checked that last night, so I don't know what it's going to do in the morning. Okay. other committees, we've heard nothing at all. And in order to keep 
the transparency of what's going on with the workings of the city government, I think this will help us knowing what you folks are doing, what each and every board or commission might want to do. And I think when we get around to budget time, this might also help us decide what we need to do as far as adding money into the budget for plans that you folks have. And I know there was some talk about some plans for an Easter egg hunt, and it kind of went by the wayside. There are a lot of other things that I would like to see incorporated into parks and recreation, one of which would be the 4th of July fireworks deal if we continue it from this year on. I'm hoping to bring it back as a means of giving back to the citizens a means of doing things. I know there's also some other things in the works. Right now I'm working on a event here May 5th to also, I guess the word is enhance the fire levy. I've got a band consequently scheduled from seven to nine. We have a little crinkle in the works, but we'll get into that later. They're going to be here from 7 to 9. We thought about having some food trucks. I know we have the Little League parade that day. This would also give us a closing to that day. So these are things that we can go on. And I think, as Mr. Bridge has said before, if we give a lot of things back to the city, things that aren't going to create money problems, or causing a problem with the budget, then I think we're going to have a much better city to operate with. You know, you all have different ideas of what we need to do, and I think we need to get those ideas incorporated. Now, I know I'm running off the job. It's <laughs> kind uh, So, I have pulled up here on my phone, so I forgot to print this one out. Uh, the Parks and Board Bylaws that you submitted to us and our attorney taking a look had a look at them, and she did, had some concerns with them. But uh, is there anything particularly, Mr. Cook, that you would like to have for their bylaws to institute it for theirs, this grouping? I mean, I know you said eligibility of the board members. Uh, currently, are the board members on terms? Mm -hmm. What is the term? I think it depends on the board. board okay. I know, so I know, I know BZA. So it's been probably six years. I think most of them are like two. Two, okay. Um, maybe. Does Parks Rec have, have it in theirs? I don't, I don't know if that's actually in there. The boards I'm talking about are like the Board of Zoning Appeals, the yeah. Planning Board, the Tax Commission. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer. Yeah. But it seems to me that if it's a policy and it's determined that how this council, you're going to have them as a two-year term or one-year term, however you guys see fit. Well, I think with the way that this is set up, it, it gives us the terms. It also gives us a means of, if you have a board member that isn't responding or isn't showing up for meetings, it gives us a reason to, mm -hmm. let's say, terminate them for one of a better term. I think it gives us a more concise way of doing business. Well, then I think if we're going to go forward with this, I think we'll probably pop on here. Uh, so eligibility of city board members is on page four. <coughs> Do you have it there? Do you? Uh, yeah. But I don't have any copies. Sorry, I'm listening. So uh, eligibility for city board members, would this be a statement that Dale, you want to scoot over here? You can look off my laptop screen. That's right. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. uh, would anyone have an objection to adding? You mean the email? Or email I can't have just email. the eligibility requirements. No, just instead of a member of the city board's commission, they're required to be a legal residence of the city. Yeah, for New Carlisle, so if you were Heights, and at least one year must be a registered voter for the city charter. All members of city boards, commissions, uh, will serve without compensation in a volunteer capacity. The city manager or designee as a non-voting ex de facto member of the Beach City Board of Commission, except for the personnel board of peer appeals, which we have actually more exceptions for their charter. For other specific eligibility requirements, please refer to the charter or original ordinance. So we actually file this ordinance. So would you guys object to any of that in there at all? No. The eligibility? The eligibility? Okay. Screening and appointments to city boards and commissions. What the vacancy exists, what the legal solutions. Uh, in regards to the appointment process that, that you that is 
says for ex effective members, each city board or commission except the so I just struck out. So the whole last paragraph? Yeah, and then for the specific eligibility. I just want to strike through on my end so I can have it. Yeah. Okay. So for the eligibility, I think that's good. For the term of office, uh, you guys have here uh, shall serve four years to a term. Uh, does anyone have any objections to that? How long do you think a board member should serve? The minimum board we have, I must have, they're all two. I'm not, I'm sorry, go through this. But all, every board is two. I think I'm almost positive. Really? Even I, think, I think mm -hmm. in the past it's always been two. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and again, this is a work in progress. Uh, the reason to bring this up is we can change and do anything before mm -hmm. this is to be voted upon. But in my estimation, the two years I think is, is a good factor. Uh, at that point, we can determine we can be determined their attendance, how things are going, if there is some conflict that maybe needs to be addressed. Okay. So you also have to look at the problems you have getting people to serve. Yeah. We don't have any issues with the BZA or planning board. Um, I've never had an issue trying to get seats that field. Bill, I don't know how this is going to go. This is a very fun, active board. So I don't, I don't know if we'll have any issues. The boring ones are hard to fill, like the tax review commission. No one ever wants to do that. Have we ever had anyone on our civil rights commission? I don't even, I've never even done anything with civil rights. Yeah. I think it's six years of work. Yeah. No one wants to do it. There's a human rights appeal. There's a human rights board, too. No one would want to be on it. So would you guys be objective to two years? Yeah. Sorry. For yeah. our standards? Yeah. Bringing that up. That's fine. All right. So two years. Fantastic. Okay. Do you want? I'm sorry. Page four. I got it. I don't know if mine's lined up like everyone else's, but it should be. Bottom page four terms. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. It's a serving and appointment to city boards and commissions. And it just kind of goes through. City Board of Commission on page bottom of page five. Okay. So that'd be a good place. Yeah, so length of term service. So yeah, I think uh, changing it from three to five to two year terms. Okay, you want two year terms? If everyone is in agreement with that. Yeah. And then there's stuff about driving and driving checks and stuff. 
stuff that we, that we want. <laughs> like that. So yeah, if you guys see it, let me know. Uh, we'll get this book cut out. So yeah, the city council may adopt. I think the first pair, first sentence is fine. Where it goes reappointment to a membership city board. The city council may opt to post a notice. So that's fine. Where does it get really weird at? If the city decides to reappoint, that's not weird. That's what, what, what is that grant of, of authority to release personal information? Well, what is And then that? after that, the second time. Yeah, let's just, what do you think, cross that out? Because that does not affect our board at all. Do we just cross it out from the, if the city council decides, and then keep up applicants for upcoming vacancy on city board or commission? I think we just say, what well, if the city council decides to reappoint an existing board or commission member to a new term, the reappointment would require the board of commission again to sign, submit, update it. Resume. Oh, that's right. a good one. I mean, well, oh, there you go. application. Application, yeah. Uh, we do application. Yeah, we normally do application. And then cross out grant of authority for that whole yeah, remaining that whole sentence. Craziness. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Or we'll submit the sign and grant the application and cross out that next sentence. Next sentence, whole thing. Yeah, because it just goes directly to council for a vote. Okay. Done. Come on, background. We're not doing background checks on people, are no. we? No. Should we do background checks on parks and rec board people because they're in the parks and doing okay. things for kids? That's not a bad idea. We can get them done for like 35 bucks. That's now, oh, 35 to do BCI and a 70 to do like all across, like the whole country. The last thing we want is someone to come in here and have a, I don't know, I'm just giving it, I'm just let giving me, it. Let me ask a dumb question. If we don't do a background check, and we get into a situation where we have a pedophile, we would be liable. We would be liable. Uh, yes. Then we're going to be liable. So yes. do we do the same thing like for all committees and council and all that stuff too? Well, no, but I don't know if it would be like a. Well, the difference is you guys are in parks, you're dealing with kids. Yeah. Whereas the other ones are like um, board of zoning appeals to where someone's going to want a variance for their fence or yeah. planning board wants to, one wants to split their lot up into 60 difference. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, that's just that. I mean, I don't know. It's totally different. Driving check, I don't 
think we really need. <laughs> they're not going to be driving. Won't be driving. And he said, well, 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 yeah. Well, if you, you really would have getting in at that point in the car. Um, but uh, background check is approved by the let's put city manager and city council. Recommend is the appointment. I'm just going to put your guys' approval on it. It has to do with your board. <laughs>
member that's appointed to this board, are they going to be subject to the background check? Yeah, why not? <laughs> We're elected, so we better know the last one. <laughs> Do you guys have background checks done for political stuff? I don't know. Supervision gone. Yep. Oh, okay, it's the city council. Boom. So city council. Gotcha. So the city council liaisons are members of the city council assigned by the city council <laughs> to the city board or commission, which act as a link between the board and the commission and the council. The city council liaisons are not directly uh, direct, are not directed by the board or commissions, but work closely with the chair and members of the board and or commission. City council liaisons are assigned. Commissions where the city council and or the board or commission have identified the benefits to the council liaison. Council liaison are not members of the board and do not have the legal rights on businesses before the board and commission, but may participate in discussion before the board or commission. Anyone have any objections to that? No? All right. And that paragraph can go into the other boards that Mr. Cook wants to go on, like the finance committee. So that one can apply to that as well, too? Yes. Okay. You make a note. Well, you've got non-chartered committees. Non oh, that's a good term. Non-chartered committees. Okay. So, um, how do I make a comment? So some of the responsibilities of the city council liaisons include attend all the meetings, Beside the board's commissions, advise the board of commission of any council activities related to the board of commissions, advise the city council of any activities conducted by the board of commission, coordinate some annual presentations. I like, I like kind of the last one, uh, some annual presentations on the activities of the board or commission at a council order session. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm good. So that all 
Meetings, the structure, the definition of a meeting is a pre-arranged gathering of the majority of the members of a public body for the purpose of discussing public business. The ordinance or resolution created the board commission provides some meetings to be scheduled when they will occur and the meetings when they will take place. I think uh, we should take out the ordinance or resolution creating the board or commission to write how many meetings will be scheduled mm -hmm. and when they will occur because let's say you guys need more than two meetings in a month because there's mm -hmm. an event, we should have just limit it to two meetings. Okay, so that's gone. What do you think, well, council? Do you agree with that? I mean, we add meetings to our schedules all the time. We're here tonight. Okay. So, all right. Well, we could keep it in there, but you would have to redo the amendment.
meetings, but those frequency of the meetings will be determined by the board, excuse me. Absences, uh, the city board commission members are expected to attend all meetings, and the city board is going to be absent from the meeting. Their members should provide advance notice of the attendant absence of the chair and or staff. So, we don't need the staff liaison.
Human rights got council members or commissioners? They have council members. Commissioners are for the commission. It's for, like, we have the Civil Rights Commission. Mm -hmm. So they have boards and commissions. We just have boards. Uh, so we just need to knock out the commission and communication among the city board and leave it that? Yep. Okay, gotcha. Because this just includes that, in, like, your face to face conversation, you guys obviously kind uh, of have hand signals like this is how you're going to go. Discussion. Uh, you could uh, you could talk with members, but you can't you can't have a quarrel. So it can't be for you guys talking prior to the meeting about an issue and deciding on that issue. No. So, so all I did was a strikeout or commission or commission in the yeah. first sentence. Oh, oh, there's commissions all through there then. No. Yeah, let's strike on that. Right. Okay. What? No, I saw that. Oh, so I continue on swiping out strike commission. In that section. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. 
made it. Which one? Do, do you already take it out? I did. Post on city's website. Okay. Because they would obviously not do that. I'm listening and reading at the same time. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Uh, minimum limit should include yeah, it's technical rules. And written that limits must be taken. 17. Speeding agenda. <laughs> you guys don't mind reviewing that and tell me what you guys would like out of that because you're your agenda. Okay, I'm taking my name from here. Chair and the city manager or clerk or council use. Okay, hold on. Physical structure will be determined by the agenda, which is created by the chairperson. In consultation with the board. In consultation with. Yeah. So, I mean, because right now it says the chairperson would do the, would, would do the in consultation with the other board members. Which I guess is okay. Yeah. But I don't think, should they have to report to... Oh. Pause, please. And okay. And this pistol strike from the original version, which is created by the chairperson. Period. Or should we keep in there to consult with the other people? In consultation, can that be struck out, you think? Yeah. And that means we get rid of the whole sentence. Okay. Delete. Okay. okay. I'm not going to worry about all these org commissions at this point. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you guys have anything on your agenda? How should we set? Are you guys okay with that? Stays in here. Okay. Yeah, I think it's done. Okay. okay. Good deal. So I think the meeting agenda is good. Okay. Now, uh, voting, abstaining, and voting for the conflict of interest. This is almost verbatim out of the Sunshine Law. So just if there's a conflict, you can't, you know, if you're uh, having a fundraiser or something out here, you're like, look, my house, you should have my house. Just making sure that we are above that place, not above that place, but on board the government. So, it's a check of the minutes. And so, I think that's fine. What is it want to do? Oh, and in this, it actually has like the layout for the agenda. How you guys do if that's okay.
we can adjust this thing. This is not something that I, I just want to get it through for them. Get it through for them, and then this is a first really draft meeting. <laughs> At some point, we're going to put it all together and pass it. But you know, if you want to make changes, be mindful. Look at this. It's hitting the table. <laughs> yeah, that's why I screwed my chair back. Oh, Lord. Randy, please shut the iron. Even they 
Because, because it's like the tw it, 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 it's the employment. Legals. Seven things in the state of Ohio you can legally go into. Yeah, and it's perfect. well, you know what? I was gonna say some of the things that he's listing though. Several fall under. Yeah. Several fall under the same, like employment, yeah. dismissal, discipline, promotion, motion would, would be one. That is actually how it reads. Yes. In the sunshine law. Gotcha. And so these like probably are right. Let me look at them. Investigation, it's against public employee, official license. Yep, those are all it. Yeah. Is it all this is breaking it down point by yeah. point instead of where the sunshine law just. So my question to this, and this has become almost a borderline legal question. No, it's not, it's there. We just keep C dismissal. Dismissal of current member. What we do is simple, is we just leave it in the whole executive session closet in there because they're a public board and they can go to the executive session anytime. It doesn't matter if it's a hospital board, a library board, a parks board, zoning appeal, any public board is given authority by their uh, Same reason that you have listed. Well, you may think that, but you got to think about well, it. Well, I agree with you, but I don't. So, because technically, anyone's allowed to, anyone is allowed to executive session with the approval of the council. The city council can invite anybody. Yeah, so we just, when we have our executive session, we just don't invite them. No. <laughs> All right. but, unless, it's, unless it's pertaining to them.
that will be on you guys. <laughs> I'm not making that decision. I'll let you guys make it. <laughs> I think it should be an inclusive. I mean, it should be 